Welcome back to some Jonga Nation. We did just take another city. So it's going pretty well, and we'll be able to wipe her out. This is this is really what you're looking for with Nubia, is just a bunch of coastal cities. I realize that her capital isn't, but hopefully we can just get it down and then plop a swordsman in there. We'd like to kill her units with that in mind, so that there's not extra strength in the uh, capital city there. But other than that, I mean, six or seven Jongs, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and fix some things, sure. I'll keep it just for the trade route. It, it's it's it, trade route and holy site. I mean, it's pretty good for us. It actually has a district adjacency bonus, so it's plus uh, plus one and then plus two. So it's not the best city in the world, but the more trade routes we get, the happier we are. That is our long-term solution to the fact that we have absolutely no science. Go ahead and repair. Let's move back into our territory. We'll, we'll take a, a brief respite here. What's the Jong's reference? That's just what our unique unit's called. And it sounds like other silly words. Boom. Excited, it might be like tile buying time. You guys excited about that? I'm pretty excited. Did I settle these spices or inherit them? We inherit them. We, we, we like to inherit our spices. Bye. All right, so these guys can move down and around. So they are full health. Stay out of the range of the encampment. Oh my God, there's a frigate. Let's do, let's do some damage. Can you reach it? No. Oh no, I used all my movement. Dang it. Smash it in the face with my caravel though. Rest and repair. Make sure that guy dies. We will hang out here for the foreseeable future. Sad about the Coliseum. A little bit sad. Oh, holy, holy fleet. What the? It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. Um, sure, I'll take that since it's relevant. Running away, eh? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you, Grand Santo. Little things like that do uh, do anger up the blood sometimes. Uh, 
I can't kill it anyways, so I guess I'm not going to take the encampment shot. That I do want to do. I definitely want to trade plunder any trade routes that we can. We shall not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Weird movement um, indicators with the jongs and the and the coupling of units and stuff. It's a sweet mechanic, although it is not perfect. All right, yay, mid-tier government, Merchant Republic. Uh, that is correct, that dude from Russia. Um, basically, the, the difference between difficulty settings in Civ 6 is um, scaling bonuses and all kinds of craziness that the AI gets in the very beginning. So yeah, so the AI doesn't necessarily get smarter, unfortunately. Um, I have a list. That I can show you. That I never remember where I put it. Right there. So there you go. You can see all the stuff that the AI gets right there. All right, so we want Harbor Adjacency Bonus for some extra gold. Influence points, yes. Builders point, uh, maybe, hmm, no, hmm, maybe, yes, no. Caravanceries and Trade Confederation. Want, I wanna maximize our trade routes that we're gonna, we're gonna have a whole bunch here for too long. And I'll run Professional Army real quick so we can upgrade this last dude. Then, finish recorded history. Yeah, no problem, man. Happy to help, just let me know if you have any other questions. All right, so this gives me another luxury, much needed. Yeah, that's the thing I meant to do. I need to, uh, yeah, we need to start purging Nubia's religion. Wait a minute. Did I not run? Oh, I didn't run the builder policy. Whoops. Okay, well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the temple. And then I can get Apostles and we can start to do that stuff. I'd rather have the Shrine than the Monument. Can't believe I did that. Thank you. Appreciate the derp. <laughs> Buy what bananas? I don't see no bananas. These bananas? That'd be bananas. You you think he's gonna settle there? Is that what you're? Is that what you're thinking? There are specific times when I start new games. Um, no, not specifically. Um, so basically, the plan is I'll be playing this game until we're done. We might start a new game tomorrow. I'm gonna be off all weekend, and then we'll probably start a brand new game Monday morning. 
But we, we, I try to start as many new games as possible because people tend to like new games. So I do factor that in when I am picking games to play. All right, so let's go ahead and pillage that. Just get rid of it. Ooh, Barbarian Knights. Not really my problem there, Nubia. Where'd that trader go? What? Oh. Okay, fine. What GPU do I have? I have a 1080. I have a GeForce 1080. Oh, he got the Coliseum in his capital. At least it'll hit like four or five cities, it looks like. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. to heal there. We will keep this. Get more traders. Traders, traders all day long. Traders and faith. Faith is culture. Traders, science and culture. You have a harbor and a commercial hub. Brilliant. Brilliant. buy that for them. I will clear that for their really good industrial zone. Off the harbor. All right, so we have this dumb city and then her capital. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. Definitely done with this. We're getting another builder, right? Or was it? There. Finish that guy. You resub today and the message didn't pop up? Grant Santo. Did you okay. Refresh your page and then above chat, does it give you a um does it give you an option to share? Because I had to do that yesterday for a for a channel I subbed to. And if not, I'll just give you the royal welcome without the message. Because I do very much appreciate the subs and the resubs and all the stuff. You guys are the best. It's Thursday, but whiskey's too good. I mean, 
You're allowed to drink whiskey on Thursday, dude. That's totally cool. I just like to know how long it is, because Grand Santa, you've been sub for a while. Please. See, there it is. Do they do stuff to your butt? No. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Yeah. Thank you for keeping me entertained at work for all these months. Keep it up. Dude, thank you. Thank you for three months in a row with your Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for remembering to do that. I really, really appreciate that. I always get nervous with my Twitch Prime subs. I'm like, nah, they're, they're not going to come back next month. But you, you, you prove me wrong each and every month. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the shop, my friend. Very much appreciate it. Very, very much appreciate the support. Heal up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's do... Sure. Let's get you some farms since we already got rid of that. I'd love it for to be a lumber mill, but what do you do? Come on, CQUI. I believe in you. A little extra science from that. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Stop doing those things. Uh, 106. SMH. I am grateful for every single one of them. Ah, oh, all right, I'll take the kill. Gotta kill that frigate first. There we go. This horseman actually needs to get up here, doesn't? Don't they? Ah, we'll deal with it in a minute. Obviously, it'd be a million times easier if I could just caravel into that, but I can't. Kill things. Perfect. You go here. We pillage. Awesome. How long do we stream for? Do we usually play the whole game through? Um, Azrael, not... We don't often play the entire game through. Um, I usually stream for anywhere between six and eight hours, typically. Although we have a 24-hour stream coming up on uh, the 16th. So that'll be super hype. And we're going to stream a ton when the new expansion comes out. Just try to get me off air when that happens. Just try. Right, let's see if I can do this. No. So 
either I have to leave a horseman here. I should I should have moved this guy up first. Oh well. I don't think they're gonna need a lot of help. Maybe one other Jong. Like a growth tile. There you go. Ooh boy. Um, I think so, Eminem. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it seemed to be people enjoyed like the fun little gimmicky stuff. It seemed like last time. So I'm probably gonna probably gonna do more of the same. Let's go all the way up there. We torture me this time, right? I'm sure you'll figure out a way. All right, so we can get apostles here now. Um, I think it's appropriate to do so. We can enhance our religion and then also launch an inquisition. just a little. There we go. And we'll pass this promotion just so we can wipe her off the map. Tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colony. You launched an inquisition last night. What did it do? Um, you, I will show you. I will show you in just a moment. Sad Panda. This is a great question, Sad Panda. Um, T, I'll show you in a second. In the debate uh, of where to build districts, given the importance of mines, how do you decide placement if the adjacency bonuses are good? Um, I, I almost always try to build the most efficient, uh, efficient districts I can without overriding mines. I almost never override mines unless it's like blatantly stupid. Like if there's a mine for a plus four campus early in the game, okay, cool, I'm down. Um, but in general, I do not build my districts on mines, on hills. This one goes bye-bye. Has a holy site, cute. See ya. And she is gone. So now we can, okay, so Inquisition, let's do this. First, let's see what promotions we got. Oh, that kills me. Um, I guess we're using this guy as a proselytizer. No, because the Inquisitors are gonna be just as, as, those are like the two really good promotions for when you're going for a religious victory. But uh, in this particular case, I think we're just going to launch an Inquisition with this guy. So, what the Inquisition does is it allows you to build Inquisitors. And Inquisitors are really good on um, at flipping your cities from a religion that isn't yours to your religion. So they're a cheaper, it's a cheaper unit. And 
and you can get a bunch of them. So we'll, we'll, we'll bring one down and start to convert um, these cities. But yeah, I almost never override uh, hills. Like you say, it's just too important. Mines are too important. All the traders now. Okay, we really probably should have been beelining steel the whole time. Little bits. New top cheer hype. Love it cry. Make <sighs> it rain. <laughs> Thanks, Hotspur. Thanks for the hundred bits, man. Heck yeah, making it rain up in here. Cried to good care of me yesterday. It was very nice of him. Yeah, let's just go this route. Heal up our Jongs, and then I think we're moving on here. Should, that shouldn't be too bad. These two should be fine. Although we're going to kill a source of our trade routes, but that's okay. 16 trade routes, is that with exploration? Well, there are two from exploration, but other than that, it's just each of our cities. Mines are early priority? No, not necessarily. Um, mines are a priority when you get to apprenticeship. Uh, because you add an extra production into them. So getting the boost for apprenticeship, which is three mines, and then getting to apprenticeship is a big deal. Uh, but at that point, yeah, you want to you want to be working production um, as opposed to growth, because again, I'm 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 like housing capped here, right? I have I'm over my housing cap. So why would I want to work food? I'm working these because of gold. That's fine. Um, Like, yeah, that's sort of the setup I'd rather go here. And you should micromanage your tiles a little bit better than I do. But food food is useless once you're once you're housing capped. Yes, he is. Wow, Sydney at turn one fifty four. That's the thing, is it's super fun to do what we're doing, but it is super late. It's super, super late. Especially trying to get the religion. I think you might be fine just going holy sites. Without the religion. So I don't know that we have a better option. He's still only in the Renaissance era as far as um, combat tech. So we'll, we'll, we'll take him over. It's five cities. It'll go pretty smoothly, I think. Then we might have to tech a bit before taking on China, Persia, and England. For that reason, Hang Garden should be better. Yeah, it got a boost in the in a, in a recent patch, but it's not great still. Give them a full housing from that. It's pretty good. All right, gamer boy. See you, bud. Uh, since you're new to Civ 6, what's the best way to learn about the game other than watching me? Um, honestly, that's how I learned the Civ franchise. I watched a guy called Quill18. He's on YouTube if you want to check him out. Um, he also streams sometimes. Um, and he taught me how to play Civ 5. And then I taught myself how to play Civ 6. Um, once you kind of have the fundamentals of a Civ game, I don't think they're too particularly hard to learn. Definitely meritocracy for all the culture. I'd be back, oh. <laughs> um, okay. Really, the next big target is nationalism. Normally, it's enlightenment, but we don't have campuses at all. Like, not even a little bit. And I don't really have... I can't even really build two markets, can I? I didn't think so. So, yeah. We'll just continue on. I mean, that was just kind of a tiny little power spike that we turned into what we're doing now. 
Um, so, pretty ridiculous. Can we get another proselytizer? Alright, let's start bringing down our Inquisitor. And I'm going to evangelize the belief. Ah, uh, he wants to be play against Quill. Someday he might know who I am, it's fine. Religious unity is interesting. It's a good source of envoys. Um, I'm not really converting other religions, right? Because Or other civs, like they're going to be my civs because we're destroying them. Because we're just doing a fun zero, zero campus uh, run gamer boy. We're using faith and jongs to take over the world. I think it's tithe. Tithe is a nice little um, gold boost. Um... Or we pick our building. I guess we can pick our building. We could go Watts since we're super low science build. That could kind of offset that. I can't believe that no one took synagogues. That's interesting. <laughs> no, Hotspur. No, no, no. Don't bother Quill. He's, he's plenty busy, believe me. <laughs> Thank you, though. No, I, I don't need him to know who I am. It's fine. I want Tithe and Watts. So I think I'm going to take Watts. I mean, if we get a Watt in every city and we have 16 cities, it's another like 32 science. It's pretty good. And then we'll get our last belief as well. And an Inquisitor. Uh, I talked about Yerevan. I actually think I want Stockholm now. Um, they should help us get other great people. No, please don't, guys. I don't like to bug people. All right, so we're going to move our navy over for <laughs> Canal. Canal. Actually, so most of our cities are coastal except for a couple. Thank you, Hotspur. Appreciate you. Who did I kill? We killed, uh, we killed uh, Nubia. Nubia gone. And Congo's left on the list. He's just been hanging out with that settler. He loves sheep and bananas, apparently. Bring that down. And what'd you get? Oh, uh, man. Debater would be nice defensively. I don't know that I'll need it, though. Debaters are super important with the new religion mechanics. And sometimes you would take Pilgrim here if you could find, you know, we could go by our wonder and then convert a couple cities and then evangelize, which I think is what I'm going to do. So we'll, we'll go here. We'll grab Pilgrim. We'll go next to the wonder. We'll have extra spreads and then we can use those spreads and then eventually convert uh, a couple of our cities. Yeah, my problem is still population right now. We, I've been so focused. Um, I mean, that's a good point, Sarge. But my, I've been so focused on um, like gold economy going towards military. We're finally at a point where that doesn't matter so much. Although I don't have faith economy at the moment. Every six turns, I can get a new John. All 
England built science. Sometimes he builds science. And I would take, basically his cities will be free because of the Colosseum, so really want that. I just like playing as Indonesia because it forces you out of your typical comfort zone. I think we're going to start here and go here and then here. Because I want to kill his economy. I don't want to sit here and have to fight a city that is tough to take and let his other cities continue producing things to make it harder on me. No, we left the warrior. Dang it. See, I don't like it when the Jongs do that. Jongs are... Ugh. So forgetful. So this guy has six spreads now. Stockholm back. That's all right. We're just passing by, buddy. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Okay, um, all right, Typhon, have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Traders, please. All the traders. Um, you need. Housing. Better than nothing. Alright. You drop this. You silly Jong. Alright. Can we take his city in one turn? I think we can. So I don't forget it. Here we go. Let's do it next turn, though. That way I can spread these guys out just a little bit more. Literally building traders. Getting all the traders. You can't go around arresting the thieves guild. I mean, we'd be at it all day. All right, it is time. When I bata to come on Zilata Tanzambi. So yes, we gotta be a little bit careful of any sort of navy he's got cooking around. But I am not super scared.
Okay. And what are we getting? Commercial hubs and apparently... Okay. I mean, whatever. Hey, Niter. Cool. And Niter there. Okay. Sure. All my trade routes just reset. See what we're in for over here. Did he build a one? T nice. Gotta love that Huey. Get my Inquisitors. We will need them for Congo cities as well. Oh hey, seven pop. Um, you know what? This is plus three. I, I don't know that I'm getting River Valley. I think I'm way too late to the party on it. All right. We'll just do it there. Keep the potential open, I suppose. Not the craziest thing in the world. Yeah, that's where I'm headed is steel. Oh, and I want to um, I want to buy watts. Three hundred and eighty per. Wow. That's where the Arabia uh, bonus is really really helpful. At this point, we're going to split up our army. And we will meet in the middle. Got three on that side. A few on this side as well. Price is 380. What? Uh, no, I haven't revealed coal yet. I'm going right for uh, going right for steel. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? I do an artesian. Ooh, silk. Don't mind if I do. Feels real nice. So send all your trade routes to Hattusa. I mean, that would be like 60-ish science. But that's even better. Two production, all the gold, yeah. All that stuff. Geneva, sure. Sciencey sort of trade routes. Just getting so much out of that. Help us with our science. On lunch, nice. How's your day going? Should I reveal coal before battleship tech? Um, yeah, maybe.
I'm not really far away from it. I like the I like the direction we're headed. Alright, bring that guy down. Almost a hundred science with no campuses. All right, that gets us to seven. Internet's poopy. Ah, gross. Geneva's helping out too with that, I suppose. Okay, you die. And then you die. And then that. And then that. So Victoria is a religious threat. not doing too bad. I'm just not even looking at the science scores because I don't want to know. I'd almost rather live in blissful ignorance of how bad our science score is. Two more to go. Trade route, why not? Hey, you got a night. The freeze warning tonight in Texas? What? You must walk I don't believe you. To meet the extraordinary dreams. He doesn't even have walls? What? This guy. Who do you think he is? I'll wait for you, horseman. I'll wait for you. I'd rather just kill the walls than take the promotion. We do this. Uh, okay, sure. Let's go for siege tactics. I don't think I ever boost that, so. Traders, please. Hello from Australia. Hello to Australia. I love greeting people on behalf of everybody in the United States. It's my job, right? I'm an ambassador of sorts. I know, right? What an idiot. Uh, we're just doing some naval, naval domination, compi. Los zero campus naval domination was the was the shtick in this game. Yep, 
Yeah, I, you're right, Sarge. They're obviously getting out of control. It might even be China, even though China's like really far ahead. Yeah, Chi China's probably next. Did China even get campuses? He doesn't have too many cities, most coastal-ish, but I don't, I see a couple. A little bit of science. I could take Hattusa. And clear master of diplomacy as Nubia burns in the background. I didn't say I was a good ambassador. Keep it. It's got a wonder. Wonders are fun. Okay, so this horseman can get there in one turn, so there's no need to do anything with him at the moment. Yeah, we could maybe settle those cities. Feeling pretty lazy, though. There we go. That's also one nice thing about Nubia is you almost have, you almost always have industrial zones that are um, coastal. So Venetian's almost always an option. Start playing games on online speed, is that a horrible idea? Not at all. Um, I, I would like to get more used to online speed just for the, for the fact of, 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 you know, practicing multiplayer ish, you know what I mean? Like, not really. Like it's not, obviously not really multiplayer, because when you're playing against the AI, they have all the advantages and stuff. But... Yeah. Online speed's like uh, double speed, effectively. He's got a lot of frigates. He's had them for a long time, though. Yeah, it just goes. It, it, what I what I want to do is get better with my um, boosts. Barbarians. It's not a thing. The small ones will go away by themselves, and the large ones you will not be able to do anything about. You work as Chai Soylent now. Jealous? Obviously, it's like my favorite. I had one today. Yeah, that's a hope of mine, Sad Panda. I don't know if it will or not, but yeah, I'm I'm hoping. I assume that some people will come over. Wait, what? oh, you have another city. <laughs> Probably just want to make peace with him. That's pretty far away. Although it would set me up for England next. Made them orders. Someone's always buys it. Nice. Yeah, man. Chai Soylent. It's my, it's my jam. Oh yeah, and we got the uh, we got a Chichen. <laughs> it's not very useful. It'd be great here, but currently we can use two Chichen tiles. <laughs> Feels. Dumb. Feels dumb. Should have let him finish the opera house. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, oh nice. Hey Guthron. Five bits for charity. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alright. So this is a good time, I think, for a cut in the YouTube video. Thank you. If you've been watching on YouTube, um, you've seen about 30 turns of Jongs in action, and we've taken over two entire sieves. Uh, pretty pretty powerful. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it.